Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Sorry for the little bit of a delay in videos. I was out traveling up in uh, Idaho for a wedding near Coeur d'Alene. It was beautiful. Congrats, Seth and Tanya, even though I don't think you watch my videos, but that's where I was. This video is gonna be about this van. So the Jayco Swift, Jayco, who I'm partnered with on this van, we're just kind of building up and I'm tweaking and modding. Obviously done a lot of exterior modifications, still some more to come, doing some stuff with Backwoods soon, so that'll be coming up whenever I do them. But this video is about like a little interior modification tweak and then we decided just to camp in the backyard for fun. Super random video, but I hope you enjoy it. So this video is basically talking about how to add a new bunk or kind of a loft bed in the front part of the ProMaster. So anyway, in the van, it can sleep three of us plus our two dogs very easily. So Ashley, Ashley's daughter. I say Ashley's daughter. There's a couple snowflakes that got really offended or butthurt or whatever when I said Ashley's daughter and not my daughter. But I wanted you guys to know I wasn't keeping like a daughter that I had secret for 10 years. So it's Ashley's daughter. We treat her like our daughter. So she is, in a sense, kind of like my daughter, but not biologically my daughter, if that makes sense. So anyways, Ashley's daughter's 10 and she can sleep with us in the van, but she kind of wanted her own space in there. So I was kind of looking around in the van where it could go. And I was like, let's just build like a little loft bed up front. And that can kind of be your bed. She kind of likes to bring in her pillows and blankets and kind of make it her own. So that is what we're building in this video. So yeah. So I put these little kind of like rain, uh, weather kind of, whatever, visors, I don't know what they're called. But it's basically so you can crack your windows when it's raining out or whatever and get ventilation without water getting in. And there's a bunch of different kinds. And I think these are the best. They're kind of the least obtrusive and seem like they provide the greatest amount of ventilation uh, and they're not 3M. So I'm gonna just put the other one on real quick for you. Isabel's gonna film me. So the instructions tell you to do it one way and it doesn't work that way. I couldn't get it to work that way. So I put the top in first because there's a lot more flex in this longer portion. So go flex it in there. Feels like it's gonna break, but it doesn't. So then once that's up in there, then you gotta get this. So you basically flex this out enough to be able to get that up in there. All right. And then you just kind of start working it in and you really feel like it's gonna break, but the other one didn't break. Oh. And this one didn't break either. So then you gotta work this to the front. Oh. We'll slide that to the front and then and then it's in. And that's all there is to it. So Yay. pretty easy. Technically it could remove it as well. So kind of nice. So it all started with Isabella wanting her own bed in here. And I was like, where could we put it? I was like, we could put a cot up there. Because this converts into basically a king size bed and we can all fit there, no problem. But you know, three people in a bed, me. So she kind of wanted her own space. So I grabbed an old thermarest just to kind of size it out. And if it's pretty much perfectly here, if you turn this chair around like that, it actually opens up a little more space, but then you just have this tight, narrow area to get into it, which would be kind of tough. So I'll probably just build it like this basically using this dimension to just cut a piece of plywood. So this is just kind of a proof of concept thing. This is not level here by any means. So I'll have to cut it and add some spacers and then a center support. I had one of these Ikea legs that I was just kind of had. It looks almost like it's the right height. So maybe I'll get away with just using that and that would make it super convenient for a middle support. And we'll see how much other support we'll need. Not much for Isabella, but the good thing is, this is just over six feet. So a full-size human could sleep here. 
So if I do a mountain trip, mountain bike trip with the boys or something, we could sleep three dudes like totally separately and be good. Sweet. So I have a bunch of random wood from various projects, like a bunch of lumber. I actually have like a lumber wall over there. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the only piece of plywood I have that would be big enough. And I almost burned my house down. Not really, but I had this like warming mat and it kept blowing my circuit. And I was like, something's probably up because it should be only pulling like a hundred watts. Something was jacked up and <laughs> legit almost caught fire. But anyway, this is a piece of plywood I have. It's, I wish it was about two inches wider, but again, just real quick and dirty proof of concept to see if that space even kind of works to sleep in. So I'm gonna cut this to size, stick it in there, put some spacers in, and see what we got. So for anyone following along, I'm gonna cut this just to 71 inches. Uh, so this is a measuring inch and a half off of here because I'm gonna use whatever this is called, essentially a fence. And obviously I don't need this, but you clamp this on and it ensures a very straight cut. You run that right, right against the edge. So then I just need to measure an inch and a half less. So 69 and a half inches. It's probably way too much detail than anyone cares for. So since we want to do 71 inches minus inch and a half is 69 and a half inches will mark and that's where I will put my little T-clamp guy. And I'll put this on the side that doesn't get cut off so that way just the wood will fall to the ground. So again, cut to 71 inches. Comes right up to there and there and fits in here pretty much perfect. Again, I'd probably go to like 22 inches wide because could go for another inch maybe, but actually this is, this is pretty close. Just the coincidentally, the piece I had is about perfect. This is also about perfect. So I may put the little Ikea thing in there. So that way I can just screw this in. And then what I was talking about earlier that's not exactly level over there. So we'll need to put some spacers in to keep that from tilting too much, but we're kind of in business. So anyway, how I see it is this is much easier just to kind of climb into when it's here than if the seat was turned around. Trey and Maple are like, let's go camping already. So anyway, here it is and I'm, uh, 510 barefoot. So probably I would say, you know, around 6'2, 6'2, 6'3. You could be like fully extended. Granted, you know, you need a little room for your pillow and whatnot, but this is it with the camping pad, obviously, because the camping pad is here. About the perfect, perfect camping pad width and super easy to get in and out. Just like that. Good night. Good night, y'all. So, uh, again, this is just kind of proof of concept, but I think, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. There's a little more headroom. Like, chill. Be like a couch <laughs> up there. So if you didn't want to make it, if you didn't want to make it uh, full length, like, you know, six foot three inches or whatever, you could put it lower on the seats, but I kind of just wanted it to be full camping pad. Maple likes it. So that little five minute proof of concept bunk actually was a huge success. So this is, what are we looking at? Maybe, I don't think it's quite three quarter inch plywood, but maybe about three quarter inch plywood. So it's pretty stiff. So the only support through the whole thing is the ends, this middle support, and the middle support is only, it's favoring the front. 
So it's really only on the front, but it's it feels plenty solid unless you're, you know, pushing maybe 400 pounds. So even though we cut this plywood to 71 inches, if you're wondering where we gained the extra few inches, it's because that goes right here to the edge and you gain a few inches here because the window and a few inches here because that window. So here's your bunk I made. Thanks. You climb up in there, see if you like it. It's good. It? Yeah, totally. So you got all that room, That's nice. all that room for activities. Yeah. So yeah, you could put your head that way or you could put your head that way. Maybe that way would be better because then you won't really fall out. You're kind of contained in there. Yeah, that's true. You might just bump the horn a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, probably <laughs> this will work on, you know, any ProMaster. So if you're wondering how to get more sleeping, this is how. And it's kind of another hangout spot. Isabella's pretty small, so she could just kind of hang out and lounge up there. Easiest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest little proof of concept thing I've ever built. Um, so this is an Ikea leg. Again, just screws in to there. And that goes down. This is kind of like a, kind of soft. I don't know. It may permanently damage something here. Let's see. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't think this would be that, uh, fragile honestly so i did permanently damage this um so that's my bad jaco but the damage is done now it's uh i uh, didn't think that through maybe as as good as i should have probably should put a little plate down there or something or if you made this a little wider the leg could come all the way down to there and you'd be good. But I make mistakes so that you don't have to. But again, just a straight up rectangle. What I had were just some, these are some cut off pieces of uh, decking board basically that are about one inch that I just tossed in there because they were the right size. So probably want to think of a better solution for that, but that's just kind of to get it level there and easy peasy lemon squeezy the other reason that i wanted to go with this size other than it fits perfectly you have to lean that seat back a little bit is that this can fit just right under here either side actually so probably i won't leave it under there all the time but when i know i'm going to need uh, another bunk i'll just toss it under that cushion for transport pull it out, put it in, and it'll be good to go. Hi, I'm recording. So we had some leftover chicken patties mm. in the freezer that we wanted to use, so I figured we'd do just some little chicken patty, chicken parmesan sandwiches. So we're doing it in the van. So we have these Hawaiian sweet rolls. Okay, wait, let it focus. That we're gonna use. I found this recipe on Pinterest, by the way. So we're getting real fancy with it. Then cut it in half, lay the chicken patties. Oops, I forgot about that. We're just gonna lay our chicken patties on it. I mean, I bought way too many of these. I've still got like 20 in the freezer <laughs> inside. Isabella's recording, yes. by the way. She's being extra helpful today. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Good job. <laughs> Applause. And then I just spoon a little bit of sauce on there. <laughs> oh, maybes. Alright, and then top it 
hot buns. Look at that. Oh yeah, we hot. have to put the sauce on. Oh. It was just some butter. Oh. I thought it was sauce. Cook. Then we'll sprinkle a little bit of parmesan on the top. And then we're gonna put that into the little oven thing. So that was Isabella filming. Hope she did a good job. I was inside uh, grabbing a couple things. So I don't know. Did you show them the final the final product? I think we did. Let me see, I gotta darken this up a little bit. The final product. We've never had these, so we'll see. So this is Isabella got all set up. Basically anytime we come into the van, Isabella grabs like 30 pillows. So she's <laughs> got, she's got her bunk. So this is obviously the bunk we just built. So that's kind of her little hangout spot. She seems to like it a bunch. Yeah. And then, this little backyard camping sesh is kind of a couple fold. Trey is fine, he's a camping dog. But Maple gets super Sick. anxiety. So hopefully this will kind of make her feel good. Like a little easy camping trip for her. So get her a little more comfortable with it. And then yeah, so this is the, this is my backyard. A little sunset action going on. Maybe we'll get some nighttime trampoline jumping in. We we're thinking about making a little fire in the fire pit, but I don't think so. And then I just ran an extension cord to the house. So that's that. And then I made, um, so I bought a couple little things that I just keep in here all the time now. A little super small travel pillow and a little super small sleeping bag. So I don't know if we're gonna make this into full bed tonight or just sleep on our separate sides. Probably we'll just sleep on our separate sides, honestly. And I'll probably go grab a dog bed. Just a little string light action. And then I don't know. Maybe we'll watch something on the mini projector. We have our little oven preheated. Now we're gonna put it in. Now it fits. Mmm. Here's maple. Sandwich. It's pretty good. So this is a uh, hand breaded chicken and homemade tomato sauce, I think, right? <laughs> and then you made the Parmesan cheese as well? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So it's super, super authentic. No, it's good though. Taste the, taste the little treat. Maple's and we had nice. these chicken patties in the freezer. They're in there for a while, so we had to use them for I thought it was good too. <laughs> yeah. The best meal you've ever had. So that basically you're saying I'm like a professional. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't say that you're a professional, <gasps> but you're still a really good cook, you know? <laughs> ah. You're getting better every day. What the heck? You guys. Quit peeping on me. <laughs> All right, so we had a delicious dinner, and then I actually just went in the house and, and brushed and showered and everything, and we're back in the van. Trey's got his comfy spot. Maple's up there with Isabella in her little front bunk. We didn't actually combine the beds, just sleeping separate. Got the string lights on, and I'm using my mini mini sleeping bag and my mini pillow to try out. I haven't used them yet. So we have the windows kind of open for the vents you can't see and then I'll probably turn the ceiling vent back on which I turned off. And yeah, we'll let you know how everything goes in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. What's the warning? Sorry, it's the morning now. Uh, Ashley and Isabella left me. I got up earlier, the security cameras woke us up and there's a llama walking through our yard. 
I should have grabbed the camera and filmed it, but yeah, the llama just kind of walking through. It was going on a pretty good clip. It was like on a mission, but I'll try and figure out if that's one of my neighbors. Uh, and then they just left me, and I kind of went back to bed. So I woke up, and I'm here. Uh, Treyu came back to join me, and it was nice. It's nice, nice night's sleep. No issues. So... Yeah, I think Isabel's little bed up there did good. Uh, these beds were fine. Had the top vent going all night. My exposure's a little too high right now. And then all of these windows. So there's four screened windows that were open. So uh, a lot of good, a lot of good breeze going on in here. Here comes Maple. Hi. Cool. I don't know what's next in this random video, but here it comes. All right, hope you liked that random video about the van. Again, doing some more modifications. I think I'm gonna tweak some stuff with the solar rack setup, bumper, maybe some other stuff, but not too much stuff. It's kind of nearing its final form as far as I'm gonna take it. Anyway, and then we're just gonna go adventure with it. Having said that, I have a couple of, of questions for you. First is not related to the van, but just while it's on top of mind, I'm going to Alaska at the end of August. Uh, my, my dad and my brother, my older brother, we're taking a trip, just like a week-long trip up to Kenai, Anchorage area. Probably not going to make videos about it. It's not an overland trip or anything. We're just going to do a fishing trip. But if you are a tour guide in the area or you have a boat or something, you're, if you do something cool up in Alaska, and you'd be interested in hanging with me and my family and taking us out. Kind of a weird thing to say, weird request when I say it out loud, but I get hit up by people all the time from all over the world that are running this or that, and we're like, if you're ever in the area, hit me up. So this is just kind of an open invitation. If you got something cool going on in that area of Alaska, let me know, and maybe if, if you feel like hosting us, sweet, let's work something out. So, so get at me, and that would be cool. Second thing, it's gonna start raining on me here in a second is we're gonna take this van out, do a little family trip out to Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. So if you know of any really cool stuff between here and South Dakota that A, you just think would be fun for me to do, or B, you think would be fun to watch a video of in the van, let me know, because we're planning that trip very soon as well. So always love to hear feedback from you guys when possible. So that is it. Again, random video, hope you liked it. And yeah, until next time guys, take care. Oh, also, these hats, topographical hats, available on the website now. Uh, maybe getting close to selling out, but I have some inventory when I'm making this video. All right, peace.